And we're first going to work with the color side up rather than the white side up. Um, for this first crease, we're going to align one point with the opposite point to make a crease that goes through the diagonal of the square. Make a sharp crease using your thumb. Unfold, turn the paper by 90 degrees, and again make a diagonal crease by bringing point to point. Unfold, and now turn the paper over so that the white side is showing. Now fold edge to edge to make a horizontal crease. Again, make a sharp crease using your thumbnail. Unfold, turn the paper by icy crease, and make another horizontal crease by aligning the edges. Now, take up the paper with that last crease folded and push together to get a preliminary base, where you have four flaps, two on each side. Now, with these closed edges in the top, fold the edges to the center crease. On the side, what's on this side? Flip the line over, and again on this side. Turn the paper so that the creases go easily. Usually it's easiest to fold away from you. Now unfold those folds and raise one flap like so. And open that flap. There's an opening here. And push your finger inside there, making it wide and pushing on this crease here. And the paper will squash down along the creases you just made. Then you can flip one of these flaps over and proceed with the next flap. And on the other side, again, do the same thing. Like so. Now align the flaps so that there are four on each side. And open up so that you see two white triangles. Now I'm going to take this point and fold it over so that this distance here is about 1 to 2 centimeters, or half an inch. So just fold that and align this crease you have in the center with this point so that you have a nice straight edge, like so. And crease through all the layers. Well, again, it's all about folding and unfolding. So now we're going to unfold the whole paper back out to the square. You will see that with the last crease you created an octagon. Now at the points we're going to fold along those creases, just bringing in the points and extending the creases right to the end of the paper. Now we can collapse back to where we were before, but with these creases inside. So you can see lots of creases, just folded along one of the lovely ones, and then there's a valley fold and a lovely fold always next to each other, so you can just collapse them. Just don't change any of the creases, go along them, and you will go back to where we were before. Like so. Now you can see that 
here you've got a straight edge and here you've got some extra bits. These extra bits along the folds from the octagon we saw before just fold up. It's the first one and the next one. There will be four of these. That's the third one and the fourth one is over there. Like so. Now we need to do some more pre-creasing and then we can finish the spin top. First we're going to align these flaps again so that there's four on each side so that the bottom is the same thickness on each side. Now we're going to bring this lower edge to align with that upper edge just making a very small crease there to see the middle. You just need to raise that one layer and make a small crease. Unfolding, you will see you now have a crosshair from the central crease and the crease you just created. We're now going to take this upper point and crease it, crease it right to that point. It's a lot of layers of paper, so you will have to bend the paper a bit and then make a very strong crease. Put the model down on the table and take your thumbnail and crease along very strongly. So now you can see you've made this horizontal crease. Next we're going to make thirds on this upper angle, but they don't have to be absolutely precise. So we're going to take this left edge and just that one flap, lift it up and fold it over so that this section that you're folding over is just about as big as that which remains visible when folding over. And make a strong crease. Then take the next flap and fold it over along the other one you just made. And then unfold. Then you can fold over one flap and take again the left edge and fold it up to the crease you just created. Again you will see that the paper you're folding over is about the same size as the paper that remains visible. Again, make a strong crease, take the next flap, and crease it over. Unfold, fold over one flap. Again, make a crease to get that one third. Take the next flap, crease it along, and fold. And proceed until you've gone through all eight flaps. Now you've got all of these angles um, divided into thirds. Next, we're going to make some creases down here. These creases are going to start right in this point where the central crease meets with the horizontal crease. So put your thumb right there at the point so that the crease starts there. Then take one flap, fold it over, keeping that thumb there so there's some pressure here and start to crease there. Then take this point here you can see from the flap and align it so that the central crease aligns with that extra layer of paper and then crease 